So hi people, it's MJ again and remember on a previous video that I promised that I was going to take you guys through the data quality assessment task of the KPMG internship. So on this episode, I'll take you guys through it from the basics to until we assess our data and try and process our data just to make it meet up the expected standard. So it is very important to remember that data quality is a very crucial issue since it assesses whether information can serve its purpose in a particular context, whether data analysis or it is being used to make predictions. And other uses of data are operations, prediction, tra predicting trends, marketing, decision making and customer management. Also, it is important to remember that Data with issues is so time wasting and it, it leads to incorrect predictions, poor decision, and also incorrect reports. Another issue that you're supposed to remember is the data quality traits. You should remember that data should be accurate. So the trait, the, the accuracy trait just answers the question of is the information in your data tables correct in every detail? For completeness, it answers the question of how comprehensive is the information and is there any missing information, any values that have been left out on your tables or there are any blanks. For consistency, this, this just ensures that your values are free from contradiction and then there is currency where values are up to date. There is relevancy where you ask yourself if you really need the information in certain tables or certain values in in your table then there's validity where does where it answers the question of does it accurately measure what what it is intended for or what it was measured what what it has what it has been used to measure and then there's uniqueness where record where rec, just the uniqueness is achieved when you you would do away with records that have been duplicated and also it is very important that we assess data quality for issues before starting any analysis. And in this task, we're going to check out data issues, come up with strategies to mitigate the issues concerning our data. Yeah, that's also, we'll dive into our data. This is the data that KPMG provided to the, to the, to the interns. And this is a scenario of Procure Central Limited. Limited. This is actually a, a store that sells bikes, and it consists of one, two, three, four, four sheets of the transactions, a new customer list, customer demographics, and customer addresses. So we'll look into it. So I think the first thing is just survey your data and just decide where to begin yeah so i think we can just do away with this first section this column so that you can see our so that you can see our features clearly yeah then just try and bring out your table make it appear appealing or just make every value visible so that you can look at it from one angle yeah then when you when you're trying to work on your quality assessment just ensure that all your all your six or other six or seven qualities are achieved which is accuracy completeness consistency relevance and the, the rest so we'll just select our entire table for filtering yeah so we can we can check each individual feature to ensure that, yeah, to ensure that there's completeness, I think we can do we can do with the blanks just to, so that we can be sure of the number of values we are dealing with. The first name is complete. Last name, I hope it's also complete. But if this is not complete, they are blanks. So I think we can just leave the blanks for the last name since we have the first names already. Yeah, for gender, there's a bit of inconsistency here because there's female there's f and there's this i think they're all representing the same thing and there's m and l yeah so i think we can just work on this first just yeah i think we can eradicate this yeah just make this male 
yeah i think we're done with one thing yeah just select everything else on this table we'll just change we'll just make sure it's consistent male for male and maybe f or female for female yeah so mm, we'll what are we finding let's find f replace it female yeah oh that's done that was quick Mm, something else came up. Sorry, let me see. Sorry, let me just take that back. Yeah. So this is what we have. And we want to do away with. They're actually two, so we can just change them to females. This is yeah. I think that's all. That was quite simple. Yeah, we good, we good, we good. Um, so on this watches table, you can just skim through it to see if there's any weird values. Yeah, also for date of birth, just skim through it to see any weird values. Yeah, there's a weird value here, 1843. It's really old. You can do it with that and you can also do it with the blanks. Then we can change this date from text to short date. Yeah, I think we can also insert another column here for age. Why is this so big? Yeah, so for age, you can, you can use this formula. Now, mm -hmm. use this, sorry. Yeah. Divided by 365. Yeah, then we can do away with these decimal points, just make it, yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, this one was already viewed. For job title, I, can, I think we can do away with the blanks for this one. Just to ensure that in case you're making relationships between one value and the other, some values won't be an issue. I like to, to expand my tables just so that I can view everything conveniently. For diseased individuals, yeah. Oh, the diseased values here. The diseased people elementary. So we can do away with that just to ensure that our data is current. Yeah. We're just dealing with current sheet. So for default, I think we can do away with this one since I'm actually not getting the meaning of those values there. This is a yes and no. Yeah, this turn is just some values i think that's okay then next we can go to the next table which is customer address mm, this one is not that detailed so we can work on this very fast customer id i hope i hope it's complete sorry just apply your filter for customer id Mm, you can do it with the blanks. I just I prefer doing away with the blanks so that I get to know how many how many values am I dealing with on a table. For addresses, I think that was okay. Postal code for state. Oh, the, we have New South Wales and SW, which I think is the same, and Vic and Victoria, which I think is the same. So we'll just change this to. A consistent value just to yeah just to solve the fact that we need consistency yeah to this and 
sorry so we'll continue so this one will replace with nsw you replace all yeah all of them are done just close it and then check on the next one Yeah, so there's Victoria, Victoria and Vic remaining. So we replace Vic with Victoria. We replace Victoria with Vic here. Yeah. So yeah, find select. What are we replacing? We're replacing Victoria. With Vic. Yeah, so we're remaining with the NSW, QLD, and, Vic and Victoria, which is okay. So I think we're done with this sheet. We're done with this particular sheet. Yeah, this con that's okay. Property evaluation, I think this will just be some digits, which is still okay. So we can go to the next table, which is transaction. Yeah, I just did away with that first column you just apply filter to it just check on, check on your transaction ideas i love checking on ideas because i think it gives you the count of so many things yeah then check on the product id you can do it with the blanks just in case you want to relate a product with other with other values so you won't have to be don't be affected by the blanks. The customer ID is done away with. Yeah, there's a transaction date here. Yeah, just, I just love, in cha love changing my dates to short dates. Yeah. And like in order, there is true and false. Yeah. If this, since this is a, this is a real store, it's not a virtual store, it's not an online store. So both buying products from the store or online are applicable. Just do away with the blanks. If it was an online, then we'll do away with the false those ones that are bought from the store. Yeah. We actually wouldn't put that on the table in the first place, I'm sorry. So on list price, we'll just change this. This is in text form. We'll just change it to currency. Where is currency? Yeah, that. Then standard cost again to currency. Yeah. Mm, product first sold date then these we can yeah we can add profit to this yeah yeah and for the profit i think what do we do to this mm, sorry. so so we'll subtract the standard cost from the list price, yeah. Mm. Nice. What else have been we checked? I generally think that's all that we had because yeah, we we're done with transactions. We've checked all the columns, we've ensured that there's completeness in the tables, there's a bit of consistency where well, we didn't achieve we there was no consistency hadn't been been achieved in gender which was the customer demographics and for states on customer addresses which we worked on and i think we were okay for currency there was a bit of there was our currency was violated where there was a record of a deceased there was there was a record of deceased people in was in the customer currency where there was a yes no yes no yeah here and we just ensured that we left it with no to show that just all the people in this customer lists are people who are still in existence then there was relevancy where we did away with the default default column that was on customer demographics and for validity we on the last table which is transaction 
the last sheet i'm sorry so this one was initially in general but we just changed it to currency and yeah oh there's one there's one issue here for the product first sold it yeah this is date and it's it appears to be just some random numbers so we'll just select this column and change it from text to short short date yeah i think we're good to go right now so this way mm, this this is yeah i think this is good and so far i think this this table of content is just this table of values is just good for further processing and if you like to see the mitigation the maybe what i came up with for the mitigation i'll attach it to the description box yeah bye till next time see ya